The first thing you want to do is identify where the power is coming in and where the load is running to. There's two traveler wires traveling between these two locations. So we need to determine which location has the load and which has the power. And you'll notice in a standard three-way, each switch will individually turn on the uh, light. First thing you want to do is take off the faceplate. Then you'll unmount the switch. First thing you want to do is take off the faceplate. Then you'll unmount the switch. The next thing you want to do is detach the wires from your traditional switch. And then just separate your wires to keep the travelers away from your common. And the ground we will ultimately end up tucking back in there. We've identified this box as the, the uh, pass-through box because we have the line coming in from the circuit breaker. So we're gonna be wiring this up as a pass-through box for an IATI three-way. In order to do this, the first thing we'll wanna do is pull out the neutral bundle. And we're gonna connect the, in the back of the IATI, the white wire, the N wire, to the neutral bundle. Make sure it's on there firmly, give the wires a tug. The next thing we'll do is because this is a pass-through, RL1 wires are not going to be used. They're going to be capped off together. Once again, tug to make sure you have a good connection. Next, what we'll do is make sure we cap off one of the traveler wires. Once again, tug to ensure a good connection. Finally, we'll be connecting the IATI line wire, the L, with the line wire coming in and the other traveler wire. Then we'll connect the three wires together. Give it each a firm pull to ensure it is connected properly. We've now wired, made all the wire connections we need to for installation of the pass-through box. We'll be tucking everything back into the box and mounting the switch. Once you finish pushing the wires back into the box, you'll want to mount your ID switch to the wall. And the final step is to mount your faceplate. The next thing you want to do is get, disconnect the wires. want to separate the wires. Next you'll be connecting your IATI smart switch to the, to the wires, starting with the neutral. First thing we'll do is pull the neutral bundle out of the wall so we can connect to it. We'll be taking the white wire, the end lead, from the IATI smart switch and connecting it to the neutral bundle. Making sure to tug. Next thing, we'll be capping off the red traveler wire as we capped it off on the other side. The next wires we'll want to connect is the power coming from the, the pass-through box into this master box. So we're going to take the L and the RL1 and connect them to the traveler wire that we're using to bring power from the other box into this box. Giving each wire a firm tug to ensure a good connection has been made. The final wire connection will be the other RL1 wire. You connect that to the common in this box, which is the load that goes to your switch. Give it a tug, make sure it's tight. 
Finally, what we'll do is we'll tuck all those wires into the box and mount the switch. The final step is to mount your IATI faceplate. 